Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Morning Devotions at the Garden of Hope. I'm early this morning. I got up really early. Had a mishap overnight, so I'm up. This feels good out here. It, it's cool in the mornings now, but then it's still getting pretty hot during the day. And I got... I got birds up here waiting on me. They've emptied out the feeders, obviously, yesterday evening. And there's nothing in them. <laughs> so they're waiting on me to fill them up, I guess. They're up here on these power lines. On our prayer list today, Mimi's mom was released from the hospital Wednesday evening. Rod Piker drones had back surgery. Please pray, pray for quick recovery and rattle trap fishing pray that the hurricane Dorian doesn't hit Florida bad Kathy Mulligan's daughter's biopsy of the tumor on her thyroid came back benign amen creative Chica Halls asked for prayers for her and her family that all turns out for the best and Patricia's niece's roommate passed away they were best friends Pray for them and the family. I love Smoochie needs healing from her anxiety. And Beverly Torres' uncle had to have his emergency surgery to have his gallbladder removed. And I got an update that he got gangrene afterwards. So he's going to be in the hospital for a few more days. Let's hope for his recovery. Yeah, it's nice and cool out here. Feels good. Okay, our Bible reading today is kind of a short one, but it's Genesis 4, 1 and 2. Adam made love to his wife Eve, and she became pregnant and gave birth to Cain. She said, With the help of the Lord I have brought forth a man. Later she gave birth to his brother Abel. more birds aren't singing something keeping them quiet okay our devotion today we're entitled a lasting legacy Thomas Edison invented the first practical electric light bulb Jonas Salk developed an effective polio vaccine Amy Carmichael penned many of the hymns we sing in worship but what about you why were you put on earth how will you invest your life Genesis 4 tells us that Eve became pregnant and gave birth to Cain. After holding Cain for the first time, Eve announced, With the help of the Lord, I have brought forth a man. In an effort to explain the surprising experience of the very first birth, Eve uses a phrase dripping with dependency on the sovereign aid of God. With the help of the Lord, eventually through Eve's seed, God would provide rescue for his people through another son. What a legacy. Parenthood is just one of the many ways people make lasting contributions to this world. Perhaps your offering will burst forth from a room where you write or knit or paint. You might be an example for another who is deprived of godly influence. Or your investment might even come after your death in ways you could never imagine. It may be the work you leave behind or your reputation for integrity in business in any case, will your words echo Eve's dependency on God? With the help of the Lord, what will you do for his honor? Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, I want to pray today for everybody on the prayer list. And we always like to hear that, that things have gone well for, for many of them. And please, we want to help all of them on the prayer list today with whatever their needs are and the families that's involved too. In the Lord's name I pray. Amen. I hope y'all enjoyed this morning's devotions at the Garden of Hope. Please press that like button and subscribe if you hadn't already. And hit that notification bell so that you get all my videos as soon as they come out. Everybody have a great day and I think I'm going to get some more coffee and sit out here. It feels so good. So I'll see you in a little bit. Bye bye.